Hi everybody, it's Ask Brad. <laughs> so, welcome, it's Sunday morning in the Northern Hemisphere, and not so much other places. So it's good to see you guys again. So yay, we get to spend time with one another. So, um, <clears throat> I wanted to talk for just a few minutes before we get to the readings uh, about a little topic that was coming up a lot last week. It was coming up not only during Ask Brad when I went back and sort of read through the questions and stuff, but it was also coming up um, throughout the week in other ways. So uh, we've recently had uh, some really challenging events that have happened in uh, the world. <clears throat> Oh, hi, Tanya. <laughs> Tanya, Tanya Yonke, the best feng shui person on the planet, just joined us. Mwah. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, so we had some, um, um, we had some questions. And the questions tended to kind of go along these lines. Um, why do the angels allow bad things to happen? Why do they not stop it? Stop it if someone wants to, for example, start an attack uh, in the UK or if um, uh, any, any kind of thing like that. And the answer is actually really quite simple. Um, it's this pesky, <laughs> this pesky little thing called free will. And the angels are limited by the limits that God has created for them and us. And one of those things that God gave us was free will. And so the, the unfortunate thing is that uh, while there are those of us who are in this community, uh, this very spiritual community, that um, where it, it's, it's just, it's outside our realm of reality, to hurt someone or to or to or to cause harm or to uh, inflict pain um, or to be selfish and um, while it is outside our realm of reality uh, it is unfortunately not outside the realm of reality of other people in the world and we have to have sympathy for those people um, I believe that the vast majority of people who are like that have had some sort of, of, of terrible upbringing. Um, they might have been very, very much um, um, had a, a wealthy upbringing, but perhaps they were taught poor morals. They were taught to not be loving and giving. They were taught to be self-centered and self-focused and that only what they wanted or their children wanted was all that mattered. Um, they may have had a terrible, sad upbringing. They might have lost their parents. Um, we can't know um, what um, they have been through. And, and so, um, the, as a lot of you might know, I'm part Cherokee, and so we have this little thing that, you know, you can't know what someone's been and been through until you have walked a mile in their moccasins. And, and so we can't know. All we can do is pray. So, and pray, prayer is very powerful. We can pray that, uh, that they are, that our leaders are guided towards the light and guided towards um, beauty and, and taking care of other people. We can ask our angels to speak to their angels, to beseech them, to, to, to be, uh, be loving creatures and, 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 and good citizens to this world and good stewards to our planet. Um, we, can, um, we can do those things and, and hope for the best. And <clears throat> we can also, um, do our very best to be a light in the world and to bring joy and bring light because you know the more that we bring joy and bring light into the world the more that we set in motion a momentum that becomes rather difficult for people who are challenged or unwell um, emotionally unwell um, it makes it very difficult for them to continue to function in a way 
that is dangerous to our world, dangerous to people, and um, un living in an unloving way. So that is, that's it. I know it seems <clears throat> simple, but it's just the truth. It's the angels cannot override our free will. God gave us free will. That's a part of the game. That's 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 a part of the of the um, uh, <laughs> the the heavenly cosmic video game that we're playing when we are um, in body you know, in this world. So. Um, so I hope that's helpful to some people. I know it's not necessarily our favorite answer, um, but it is uh, the truth. So, <clears throat> and so, and thank you guys for the compliments on the shirt. <laughs> I'm getting a lot of compliments on my shirt. So thank you, and thank you about the necklace. Uh, this is I'm super proud of this. If you can see it, um, some people are comp commenting on that too. Uh, but this I got in Austria by a really talented angelic jewelry maker. And um, she makes jewelry for archangels. And so um, I was immediately drawn to this one and asked her, well, what archangel is that? And yeah, Uriel. <laughs> I'm like a homing pigeon. <laughs> I just, I'm like a homing pigeon. All right, so I do want to quickly say hello to Pat Blocker, who is an amazing author and an, um, an amazing worker with um, um, animals, in particular dogs, and she has joined us. Um, uh, Sherry, my amazing, amazing uh, social media manager, is with us. So hi, guys. All right, so we're going to get started on the reading part, okay? <clears throat> so... Um, so we're gonna get started on the reading, uh, the reading part. So let's just talk about how that happens for those of you who might be new. I'm Radley Valentine. <laughs> I'm the Hay House author of This Stuff Back Here. Uh, this is my newest book that's coming out soon. It's called How to Be Your Own Genie and it is available for pre-order. Um, so anyway, um, so I have two cameras. So it might seem to you like I'm looking back and forth and because I am. And what I'm doing is I'm looking at Facebook Live and I'm looking at Instagram. Now, I also have on my page, uh, my Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash Radley Valentine, a very magical post pinned to the top of the page. And that's another place where you can ask questions because the, the thing about um, um, uh, Facebook Live and Instagram is that the questions fly by super, super, super fast. And so um, uh, I have to grab them with my eyes but and, and just do the best I can. But there are also those questions, there's questions down here um, um, on the Facebook, Facebook page. And oh my goodness, you just keep coming up. Um, um, uh, so those are the places. So uh, we're going to start with Facebook over here, and we're going to start with a woman whose name, I'm, now if I mispronounce your name, please forgive me. I have a weird name, so people say it wrong all the time, so I get it. I do my best, all right? I, I do my best. Anyway, her name is Elthea, and I keep seeing her name. I'm seeing her name on Facebook. I'm seeing her name on the Facebook page. It, her name just keeps showing up. And so I have found a post of hers, and we're going to start with her question. It says, hello, Rad. <clears throat> I would like a card reading. I am tossed. I'm tossed. I'm tossed between a possible move and hope the cards can give me a direction my intuition seems to be going with. Thank you and look forward for your reading. And, okay. Um, <clears throat> I don't know what tossed means. Maybe she's from Europe or something? All right, I, well, I think that she is uncertain about a possible move and we're gonna go with that. <laughs> and I hope that's right. So, <clears throat> whenever someone is uncertain about something, that, to me, is this sense of lack of confidence in themselves and their ability to make a decision that makes me always want to go to Archangel Power to row cards. So that's where we're going to go now. <clears throat> and we're going to <clears throat> pull some cards for Althea. <clears throat> <clears> hmm. 
<laughs> All right, so um, so the, the first card is Seven of Raphael, and this makes perfect sense for what is going on with Althea because this is a card of uncertainty. It is a card of not knowing what we want to do. Um, if you can see this card, we'll get as close as we can, and you'll see that we have all kinds of opportunities. And from this, from this well of opportunity, we have pulled seven buckets, seven buckets. And so those seven buckets are the colors of the rainbow or the, or the chakras, are the chakras. So Althea, I hope you're watching. I'm sure you are. And so when I pull my hand away, I want you to notice which bucket sticks out to you. Do you see the purple one, the red one, the blue one, the green one? What color just jumps right out at you? Three, two, one, now. So what bucket did you see? What bucket did you see? And so what you can see, um, what you do with that is you, is you pay attention to the chakra that is related to that color because it has a lot to do with what is going on for you. For example, if you were drawn to the red one, then, um, then that would mean that you are feeling a little unsafe, like you don't feel safe about your material needs being fulfilled. And that might be why you're feeling like you want to, to move. Seeing the light blue one, well, that's the throat chakra. So it might be that you are feeling a need to be able to better express yourself or express your spirituality or express your career, but in some way being able to uh, be able to express yourself. So, so that's the first card. <clears throat> The second card is Two of Gabriel, Two of Gabriel. So this is a great card because this is a card that talks about new opportunities, but it also talks about the possibility of getting someone to help you. So you might want to get someone to help you with, with really analyzing the move. When, when my partner and I, um, uh, way back 100 million years ago, moved to Denver, I did a lot, a lot of, 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 research before I move to the city that we live in. Tons and tons of research. And so you might want to get someone to help you really kind of work it through. There you are, Althea. Hi, honey. So help you really work it through. Help you really work it through. Now, do I think you're moving? I do. <laughs> I do. So you, uh, there's several things about this that I really like. Althea said that she resonated with the blue bucket and that whole desire to express herself. And so she's chose the, the last card for her is a card that is blue, right? It's blue. And so, um, so she's chosen from the blue suit. She's got Archangel Michael on her side whose color resonates to blue. <laughs> I promise not to do that all day. Okay. Um, and, and so, and leaving the stormy skies for clearer, sunnier skies. This is a card that it talks about uh, the time to move on. It, it talks about moving on and moving on from the difficult times, moving on the difficult times. All right. So there you go, Thea. Sheltie dog on the card. You're right, Serena. Sheltie dog. This was Okay, let's see if we can do it. Okay, we'll do it for each one separately. So there's Facebook, there's Facebook, and there is Instagram. So that is Lady Lindsay Boomerang. <laughs> that was my very first Sheltie, the very first dog I ever got on my own without my parents, and my very first Sheltie, and a, a love affair ensued that has lasted to this day and will never ever end. So, <clears throat> All right, so that's that. We're going to refresh the page so that new stuff will post. All right, let's see. All right, so Vasset, Vasset, V-A-C-E-T-E, wants to know if Mark and she will get married. Well, I'm presuming it's a she. Vasset seems she-ish but it could be not a she, so I, I try not to presume too much on that particular front. All right, so what we're gonna do uh, is I think, um, ah! oh, that's an interesting jumping card. We are gonna leave that there, all right? So, but what we're gonna use is we're gonna use Dorian Virtues, the Romance Angels Oracle Cards. All right. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> so
So this is really interesting. This is really interesting. So when I was chef, oh, Instagram, when I was shuffling for, I was shuffling to put away Archangel Power Tarot cards because that's, I always do that. I put the cards in and then I shuffle it. It gets my ego out of the way and make sure I didn't, like, if I pull a card again, it's the same card. I want to know, okay, right, whatever. So, um, so as I was shuffling Archangel Power Tarot cards, we had this lovely jumping card. And that's very interesting. This is the Knight of Raphael, right? And the card says, committed romantic relationships, being swept off your feet, situations or topics that make your heart flutter. So this kind of tells me that you've been swept off your feet. <laughs> so the thing that I just kind of want to say about that is try to stay grounded, especially given some of the other cards that we do see from the Romance Angels. But uh, this is a great guy. He can really, really, really sweep you off your feet, but he can also, because of that, cause you to become ungrounded. And by, as an ungrounded person, we can give too much to our relationships. We can give too much to the other person and we forget to take care of ourselves. And so you've got to watch out for that. So we'll just put that away. And so the first card, well, this just confirms what we've already seen. Passion, all right? Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy, but passion. So again, that whole sweeping off your feet, okay? So <clears throat> the next card is give your uh, relationship a chance. Give your relationship a chance, right? Okay, so that would say, yeah, that feels pretty good to me. It's like, don't, don't give up on it. Keep going, keep going. Um, now the last card, I don't really know what to say about exactly. I'm gonna, it'll, you'll probably, hopefully, it'll make sense to you. But it's finances and career, and the card says financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So this kind of tells me that maybe there is something kind of going on in finances or career. Maybe you have, there's an issue or a challenge there because one of you lives one place and one of you lives another place or maybe there is a financial concern. Maybe he lives at home with his mother and he's 41. <laughs> Hopefully not. <laughs> no, we're not. We, it's cancel, clear, delete. <laughs> we don't want that. Uh, we, we don't want that. All right. So there you go. So um, I think it looks, I think it looks good. I think you just have some stuff that you just need to work out. All right. So Oh, my Jeannie Boyd Rad, please need some guidance, guardian angel message, please, please, please. They're very quiet. I can't hear the message. Do I have more than two guardian angels? Uh, Sherry, if you could grab that one and pin it, I would love it. It was the one right before Serena and then Jessica, but I didn't grab the name, but that's okay. We can still kind of do it. I would just love to have it. It started out, my dear Jeannie Boy, is how it started out. So if you can find it and post it, pin it, that'd be super cool. Uh, aura. Okay, so Aura. My Jeannie Boy, rad. Okay, so Aura. <clears throat> okay. So the first name that I'm getting is Grace. And then I'm getting Louisa, Louisa. <laughs> I'm, I'm hesitating because it seems like a really unusual guardian angel name, but I just keep getting it over and over and there's, it's really, really clear. So we're going with it and it's Hunter. So Grace, Louisa and Hunter. And um, Hunter says that he has taken that name because his assigned purpose to Aura at this time is to help her to seek out and find all that she is looking for. Grace is chiming in to say, do not be afraid. We are here as a group to help you get clarity on divine life purpose, 
Louisa says, this is unusual, usually one speaks and the rest just kind of let it, but this is the way it's coming out. Louisa says, um, you have doubts and fears regarding what you know in your heart to be your divine life purpose. And we are here to help usher in a time of confidence by bringing to you signs and evidence that are irrefutable about your purpose and where you are headed in this lifetime. We okay, now they're speaking in, um, they're all speaking at once. We now speak together to emphasize our commitment to you individually and as an angelic team to help you <laughs> hunt down, discover, fully realize, and love the life you are meant to live. Love, oh, <laughs> and I signed it, we three. Love, we three. So that's really cool. That's a cool reading. All right, good for you. All right, so let me see. Where does that mean I go? It means I go over here to the Facebook page where people have posted things. Um, <clears throat> um, let's see. I don't know why Facebook hides people's comments. It drives me crazy. Why do they do that? Okay, let's see. Um, So I'm going to grab this question um, from Christina that says, hi, hi, Christina. It says, hi, Radley. I would love a romance reading. I've known someone for a while, and I would like to know if I should explore our relationship further. So, uh, so is that going to be our topic today, romance? <laughs> I mean, it's okay. I don't care. There's always a, there's always a thing. All right, so let's see. So for Christina, should you pursue this relationship further? So the first card is new love. Um, actually, this is so easy. L new love, let go of control issues, true love. So yeah, Christina, I think you really should pursue it. So I, I think the key here, though, is it, it's great that it's true love. We know that now. And it, yeah, it's new love. We know that. So this is the key. This is the one that really matters. Let go of control issues. So uh, usually when I see this card... It's because someone has been hurt, they've had challenges, they have, um, um, have, have 
wounds or forgiveness issues that they need to work through. And all of those things kind of accumulate together to kind of make them want to be a little bit a control freak. Now it might not be a, con it could be a control freak about the other person, um, or it could be a control freak about the way in which um, the relationship unfolds. And so, you know, it's kind of like, just chill. <laughs> if, if you, if you, if you need to do some, some forgiveness -ish work or something like that, then do that. And, but you know, I really, um, would like, kind of just like to say, um, pers yeah, open your heart to it, open your heart to the opportunity and, and pursue it. But also at the same time, don't feel the need to control how it unfolds. Just let it unfold in its own little way. And, and let it be okay the way it unfolds. And, um, you know, in a way it's kind of like, I'm, they're showing me a roller coaster. <laughs> and, you know, it's like, um, when, we, when we get on a roller coaster, we really are, you're making a commitment. <laughs> Right? I mean, come on, right? And you're making a commitment. You get on a roller coaster, you are making a commitment because you're not getting off. Not until the ride is over. And you might have it in your mind what the ride is going to be like, and it might be somewhat different than what you think it's going to be. And it'll have ups, and it'll have downs, and it'll have spins, and it'll have curls. And But in the end, it's an exhilarating ride. So why not let it be an exhilarating ride? And I am loving these little rainbows that are flying across my screen. <laughs> that is so cool. That is so cool. I love them. Okay, so there you go. All right, so let's see. So where do I go next? Instagram. <clears throat> let's see. <clears throat> well, hello, San Francisco. Uh, let's see. Flying by! <laughs> so, um, so Ms. Vortega, Ms. Vortega, hubby's guardian angel names. Okay, so that flew by, but I think that's what it said. So, Ms. Vitega, her hubby's guardian angel names. I always love it when people are, like, concerned about their, their, their um, spouses and getting information for their spouses. It's just so sweet. It's so sweet that people do that, and I love that. So, hubby's guardian angel. So, Levi, L-E-V-I. It says something about your husband. <laughs> Levi and... Abigail, who says she is totally cool with being called Abby, A-B-B-I, Levi and Abby, Levi and Abby, yeah, so those are your husband's guardian angel's names, but you're so sweet that you asked for your husband's guardian angel's names, let's get your guardian angel names too, and if you already have your guardian angel names, then you listen to you. <laughs> <laughs> because you're right. So, all right. So for you, I get Gab Gab Gabriella Gabriella and Maya M A Y A Gabriella and Maya Gabriella and Maya. And so. Um, the four guardian angels that we've got here, Levi and Abby and Gabriella and Maya, are all kind of like doing a little sort of angelic high five over your heads <laughs> and, and saying that they are very excited about this opportunity because uh, I'm always telling people this, that your guardian angels can speak to other people's guardian angels. And that's a really great way to resolve challenges between people or resolve issues is to ask your guardian angels to talk to other people's guardian angels. 
And so they, uh, your four guardian angels here are very excited about the opportunity of being able to work on issues within your relationship, things that the, four, the two of you, your husband and you, want to work on together, um, to uh, things that you're wanting as a couple to manifest. And so it gives them the opportunity to kind of get to do that. So they're very excited about that and very excited that you had the opportunity to get the name so that you can work on that. So do that. <clears throat> So I did want to tell you about a couple of things, and then we'll go right back to readings. First of all, um, I am going to be teaching a class in Chicago that I'm very excited about. It's July 22nd through the 24th. And, in it, and for those of you who have taken the Certified Angel uh, Card Reader course, this is the Certified Angel Tarot Reader course, and it is an advanced course. You're welcome, Ms. Vertega. It is an advanced course. So it takes, because that's what I've heard over and over and over, everybody's saying the same thing. It's like, can I please get more? I want more, I want more, I want more, I want more, I want more. Okay, I heard you. More. Here comes more. So I'm going to be teaching this class for the first time in Chicago. Um, and so it's at the infinityfoundation.org. It's the first time I will have taught it live. So very excited about that. So I so check it out if you're going to be in the Chicago area. It's almost sold out. So if you're really interested, you need to hurry. Also, for those of you who are in London, I'm going to be speaking at the Angel World Summit on July 1st. So yes, I just got home from Europe and now I have to turn around and go back to Europe. Not super thrilled about that part, that because it's like 15 hours each way, but that's okay. It's all right. I love doing the Angel World Summit, and so it's it's gonna it's super super cool. Um, so Diana Cooper is going to be there, who I love and adore. Um, I just got to spend uh, at Angel Congress. I got to spend a lot of time with Diana. We sat together at dinner and we had a long talk, and I just love her. And so she's going to be talking about how to accelerate your ascension path. With, by working with your archangels and the animal kingdom. So that's super cool. And then also Doreen Virtue is going to be there via video. So she's got a very special angel meditation that she's going to be sharing. I am going to be talking about how to work with archangels in personally tailored combinations to help you to manifest the things that you want to create. Also there will be Lorna Dern and Kyle Gray. So it's a, it's really an exciting day and I really do hope that you guys will join. I know I love Diana Cooper too. She's so great. Um, and, and so uh, check that out. You'll find that on my Facebook page. And speaking of animals, you'll find on my Facebook page an ad for Animal Tarot Cards. It is Doreen and I's next deck that's coming out. We're super excited. Hi, John. Hi, John. We're super excited about it. It's coming out in October. And I just got told that I get to start sneak peeking the imagery. So that's going to start happening really soon. So very excited that I get to start sneak peeking the imagery for Animal Tarot Cards. And so John Moore just joined us. John Moore uh, is an amazing, amazing healer uh, who lives in Florida. Uh, he works with something called Family Constellations, which is all about healing, emotional concerns and issues. And uh, he's an incredible, incredible teacher and healer. So check him out. All right, so we need to go back to doing readings. We ended on there, so we're going to go here. All right, let's see. No, we need to go over here. <clears throat> um, let's see. Someone just posted, I've got a picture of my mother from five years ago, and I can't just stop crying. Sherry, can you find it and post it for me? Something about finding a picture of her mother, and she just can't stop crying. Um, so we'll find that, and then we'll we'll do a um, a little thing on that. Um, let's see if it's going to show back up. Oh, Colleen is asking when will I be back in Colorado Springs? Actually, in not too in in the not too distant future. They uh, there's a bookstore there that I love and that I like to do work out of. They have asked me to come. It's just they asked me to come at a time when I had a million deadlines. 
and, <laughs> and it was just not possible. And so we're talking about the fall. So probably in the fall for whoever asked that question. Um, ah, there we are, Stephanie. I got a picture of my mother when she was young and I can't stop crying. Uh, let's see, can I see more of that? There, she passed five years ago. Well, Stephanie, you know what? That, that's just not at all weird. I mean, it's just not weird. I mean, you know, it's, it's, I, um, hmm. Okay, don't, don't go away. Be right back. <laughs> <clears throat> So this is my favorite picture of my mom. And I found it when she passed away three years ago and I found it in a bunch of stuff. And my mom had been really ill. She had been, she had been challenged, she had been really ill, she'd had a heart attack um, and, and I became her primary care for a while. Which let me tell you, for those people who do hospice work or for people who do in-home care for people, <laughs> My hat is off to you because that is hard, hard work. So if you're caretaking a parent or caretaking other people's family, then I totally get it. Tough stuff. But you know what? It's like there are there were lots of pictures of my mom. And this is the one that I chose to frame of my mom and to keep on my bookshelf where I can see it all the time. Now, why would that be? Well, because this is my mom vibrant. This is my mom healthy. This is my mom happy and joyful. Look at her. She's she's like spinning and happy. And it's like, that's how I envision that my mom is in heaven now. This is where she is now. She's in heaven now. And so now she's back to this. And so um, there's a memorial place that I can go to. I can't go to the place where my mother is laid to rest because it's too far away. But I can go to this memorial place that I established for my mom here and where I live. And I, when I go to talk to her, this is what she looks like. This is how she looks to me. And so I don't think it's at all weird that your heart would be touched. That your heart would be touched by seeing your mom young and healthy. That makes sense. I also have occasionally... Here, we'll just put mom right there. <clears throat> I occasionally find will bump into things of my mom's that I've kept that mean something to me. And it does, it, it gets me, it's true, it does. And, and you know, so I just think that's normal, Stephanie. It's just normal, but you know what? So let's, let's do this. So, Talking to Heaven, Oracle Cards by Dorian Virtue, James on Prague. I love, 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 love these cards. So let's go, okay. And so, jumping card, I am with the rest of the family. I am with the rest of the family. Um, so, but let's get a message for you, Stephanie, from your mom. Sweet. All right, everybody get your tissues out. <laughs> get your tissues out. I've got mine. <laughs> Here we go. All right, so the first card for Stephanie is, I always give you a kiss goodnight. I always give you a kiss goodnight. Uh, the next card is, we will be together again. We will be together again. And the last card is, life is a series of choices. Choose love. Isn't that beautiful? Absolutely beautiful. I love these cards so much. I love these cards so much. And so Stephanie, I have probably done absolutely nothing to stop you from crying. I've probably made it worse. <laughs> but you know what? It's like, just cry. It's okay. Just cry. Just let it out and, and, and it'll pass and it'll be okay. All right? Okay, so. Let's see, now we're going, let's go to Instagram. Okay, um, let's see, hello from Greece. Hi, Greece. <laughs> um, um, so someone, now that one really, really flew by. So I haven't the vaguest idea what the name was, but I saw the question. The question was, 
Hello, Radley. I've had so much pain and sadness. I'm paraphrasing because it did fly right by in my life. And uh, when it comes to romance, am I ever going to find somebody? So if that's your question, then that's great. Um, um, sorry, I, it's just they go by too fast. And so I didn't get it. Um, <clears throat> so, but let's, so, um, you know, I feel like I want to go to um, fairy tarot cards for this. I don't know why. I just do. So we're going to go to fairy tarot cards. Fairy tarot cards. All right. <clears throat> All right. Let's see. Oh, I, she's still with the rest of the family. <laughs> All right. So here we go. Um... I just love you guys. I, I just love you guys. You're just amazing. So this is very, this looks really, really good. Okay, so the first card is Six of Autumn. Six of Autumn. So, you know, this is a card that's really kind of more about career and stuff. And so it kind of tells me that your emphasis really hasn't necessarily been on relationships. It really hasn't been on finding someone to be in your life. You've been a little distracted by your career, and that's groovy. That's no problem. But the first card um, is um, the first card is um, in, is the past. So what does that kind of tell me? It kind of tells me that that emphasis on career needs to start to fall away in order to be for you to be able to um, start to focus on relationships. Now, what's the next card? The next card is the Emperor. Okay, now that's an interesting card. So, and now I know <laughs> why I wanted to choose fairy tarot cards because our te this is my favorite emperor, okay? Of all the emperors that we have created in all our decks, this is my favorite. And here's the reason why. People think about the emperor in tarot as being all about organization and discipline and structure and getting organized and all that kind of stuff. And that's true, that's true. But I think people tend to de-emotionalize the emperor. They, they, they give all the emotion to the empress and they leave nothing left for him. And so what did we do? Well, we, made, we did it differently. We placed the world in one hand, which makes sense. That's traditional for the emperor. But in the other, we placed a heart floating over his other hand, right? That's to show the love. He, I mean, he is doing all this structure and organization and discipline and making sure that we all have roofs over our heads and all that kind of stuff in order, but he's doing it from love. He's doing it from love. So now, what about your particular situation? Well, in your particular situation, you need to get organized and structured and disciplined about looking for a relationship right? <laughs> there is no other emperor card in our decks with a heart on it, okay? <laughs> right? So you need to be more organized and structured about it. If you're just kind of hanging out around the house and hoping that someone's going to ring your doorbell, that's probably not going to happen. <laughs> you need to be more organized. And guess what happens if you get organized? Guess what happens if you really start to focus on finding someone to be in your life? king of summer, getting married, the guy you marry, the guy you keep, the guy you want to marry, the one you can trust completely, king of summer. So yes, it is coming. You just, you just need to re start over. You know, it's like, it's like just, just whatever you've been doing, just get rid of it and, and start over. Ask the fairies or the angels, what is it that I need to be doing in order to meet somebody? Do I need to be taking classes? Do I need to be on, on an online service like Match.com or something that's not necessarily commercial, though I will tell you that that, game, that wound up on my hand because of Match.com. So it does work. Also worked for my baby brother. So, hmm. so just give it a go. All right, whatever, whatever way you think you need to be doing it, but you really, really need to be... Uh, structured on it. All right, so 
that means it's time to put the fairy crow cards away. That means it is time to uh, go over here and look on Facebook again. So let's God, it's just all about romance today. Okay, let's just go with that. Let's just go with it. Okay, so Jackie. Hi, Jackie. Jackie says, I am ready to give up. <laughs> and she's screaming. <laughs> I am ready to give up. I don't think I will find love again. I am desperate to know my angel names and what they want me to know. After this week, I am going to give up since it appears I don't have angels. Or they, oh, good grief. Or they don't want to speak to me. I've been divorced, lost my boyfriend to death. Okay, all right, a girlfriend. <laughs> So, where's the Facebook camera? Okay, girlfriend. Um, yes, you have angels. Everybody has angels. That makes me crazy. It's like, everybody has angels. Everybody has angels. Everybody. You, everybody has at least two. So, let's get that out of the way. You have angels. In fact, look, you, they just... They just made you to my attention right as you were about to give up on the whole thing. They made your question pop up in front of Radley's face. Ha ha ha. And you're listening. See? Now you're listening. Uh-huh. You're listening. All right. Good. So let's get uh, some. So it's your guardian angels are Elijah. And this is for Jackie, right? Yes. Your guardian angels are Elijah and Charlotte. And there's a third one named Celeste. So that's C-E-L-E-S-T-E. -E -E. uh, okay. So Elijah, Charlotte, and Celeste. So what was your question? I'm just for no my angel names. What they want to know. After this, I'm going to give up. I have been divorced. Okay, so this is all about relationship. Okay, that's cool. Okay, so <clears throat> Elijah, Charlotte, and Celeste. So I'm drawing a little heart next next to Charlotte's name because Charlotte, that's, she's saying that, so about guardian angels. Guardian angels have purposes in our lives and those purposes come and go. Uh, so for example, if you're happily, joyfully married, the relationship's going great, it is unlikely that you're going to have a guardian angel that is working right now currently on your relationship because you don't need help, okay? So, but, but Jackie feels desperately like she needs help for her relationships right now. And so Charlotte is the one that is in charge of that. And she says, dear one, Oh, okay. So I'm supposed to grab this. Um, this is for uh, talking to. This is talking to heaven. This is for the boyfriend that you lost to death. So we're gonna get a message on that one. They said to do that. So because we need to. They're saying that we really, really, really need to come to some conclusion about that. So can we just all like agree? That we're going to say a little bit of a prayer right now for Jackie that to help her to first of all to come into a closer relationship to her guardian angels to help her to heal from her last marriage and for the loss of her boyfriend so we're gonna ask Archangel Azrael to be uh, to be with her and also Uriel and we're picking those two because those uh, Azrael is all about helping people to get over a loss from someone passing away. Uriel is emotional healing, so we've got, we kind of need to do some of that as well. Um, um, we're going to also ask for Zadkiel, Z A D K I E L, for help because he's about forgiveness. And so we need to maybe do some forgiveness work that has to do with uh, feelings about um, the boyfriend that passed. So we're going to send some prayers about that. And we're also going to send prayers. We're going to bring in Archangel Shamuel because Shamuel's name means he who sees God. And so we're bringing him in because he is, Shamuel is used very often to help people to find what they're missing in their life. And what she's, Jackie, is missing from in, in her life right now is a relationship 
uh, one that is stable, one that, and because that's what we want. We we don't no more li no more lessons. <laughs> well, that's not true. You, I can't help that. You're gonna learn lessons in a relationship. Can't help you with that. But no more relationships that are lessons to prep you for the next relationship. We're done with that. So so we want to bring in absolutely the right person, the absolute perfect person for Cheryl. Now, I feel like the boy the boyfriend who's passed over is here. And that person um, is really, really, really wanting to be of assistance. Um, he's saying that he is super happy and joyful to play matchmaker for Jackie. Um, oh, oh God, this just gives me angel bumps, okay? So here's the first message from the boyfriend. Remember me by the happy memories we created. Remember me. I had to leave that way. And sometimes this can mean I had to leave when I left. So I had to leave that way. And finally, I am here helping you. What did I just say? So you've got this person in heaven who wants you to be happy, wants you to be loved, and is absolutely wanting to be there to help you find the perfect next person. So um, I would very much ask you to uh, start working with Eliza, Charlotte, and Celeste, uh, but particularly Charlotte, when it comes to your concerns about relationships. So there you go. So yeah, that was good. All right, so that's that. So back over to um, questions. Um, yeah, I know. <laughs> it is a beautiful spirit guide. Okay, so let's see. Thank you, Angelica. You've just got prayers coming from all over the place, Jackie, because I'm seeing them. So tons and tons of prayers. Um, uh, let's see. So Jennifer wants a reading for her career. Jennifer Pearl wants a reading for her career. So I am going to go back to Archangel Power to wrote cards for that, for Jennifer. All right, let's see what we've got. If I was going to want a reading for my career, this is the reading I'd want. <laughs> so the first card is Seven of REL. Okay, so this is the card that is seeds well planted. It's patience. Unfortunately, none of us really is all that into patience. None of us much like the P word. But what it says is that that um, the all of the things, all of the uh, energy that you have placed into your chosen career, what you want to do, uh, is going to bloom. See, it's blooming. It was going, it's blooming. So the next card is Ace of Gabriel. Well, what is this? A gift of passion, opportunity, and inspiration, the chance to do something amazing, a sense of wonder. This is a card of wonderful new career opportunities coming your way. And finally, the world. Like, and this is like super success, right? Super success, a happy ending, coming full circle, circle, spiritual growth and insight. I mean, this is a happy, so it's like, um, you're on the brink uh, Jennifer, <laughs> you are totally on the brink. You are on the brink. This is about to happen. A wonderful new opportunity coming your way based on all the energy that you have put into, all the energy that you have put into your career so far, it finally coming to fruition, being a big success. So that's super cool. All right, so let's go now back to Instagram. Uh, let's see. Um, so Lolo Bunbury, <laughs> low, it might have been Lola Lunbury, something like that. Is it time to start 
and I'm paraphrasing my new career because it just sort of flew right by. So uh, for that, I'm going to go to, where do I want to go? I'm going to go, I'm going to go to um, Angel Answer Oracle Cards for that. <clears throat> and um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to shuffle the cards. And so this deck has yes, no cards in it. Several yes, no cards, several possible cards that are yes, no. And so that's why I like to use it. I just pull out all the yes, no cards so that we get a very clear answer. And so the, and the card is, <laughs> you're ready. <laughs> that's pretty clear. See, that's one of the reasons why I like this ca these cards. It's really super, super clear. So there's also in um, Angel Answer Oracle cards, there are timing cards. So let's, let's pull you a timing card about doing this. Okay. And it is within the next few months. Okay. So within the next few months. So yes, it is time for you to do this and you should get it going within the next few months. So get, get busy. Okay. All right. So um, that is pretty much all the time that we have today, folks. So um, thanks so much for tuning in to Ask Grad. We'll be back next week. Uh, the week after that, I think, is the week I have to go to back to Europe. So we'll, we'll miss a week that week. But I'll be there. I'll be here next week. So uh, uh, thanks so much for being a part of Ask Rad. I love you guys so, so much. And uh, always remember, life is magic. <laughs>